I'm going to do my best here to uh, create some sad faces. See if you guess which which one they are. I I might need some mas mascara. I might need my mascara to run a little bit. Did you get a perfect score on the face quiz? Snap out of it. Stop the pity party. Work through your challenges. The prize that you seek is on the other side of your challenges. Self-loathing, pity, feeling sorry for yourself, these things aren't doing you any good at all. They certainly aren't bringing you closer to union. If you think, if you like, you're thinking that your twin is going to feel sorry for you because you feel so bad, you know, that they're just going to come back to you and save you. Then you'll be happily ever after. That is the, that is the wrong game plan to have. They are not your therapist. Their job isn't to dedicate their life to making you feel better. That's your job. They don't need you. They're making that abundantly clear by whatever it is they're doing. Do they want to be with you? Of course. 100%. But not like that. Not if you're really depressed and sad or angry or stricken with grief, having a pity party, poor me. And if you think that them not being with you is the reason you're depressed and sad, that's not true. Those feelings have been there all along. Maybe you haven't been totally aware that they've been there, but they have. And whatever your twin flame did to bring up those feelings within you reveals that those feelings have existed within you for a long time. Let's be clear on how this works. It is not twin flame does X and that causes you to feel bad. The bad feeling was there all along. They just uncovered it for you by doing X. In other words, they didn't make you feel that way. They didn't make you feel bad. No one can make you feel a certain way. You have feelings that are buried, that get triggered during different circumstances. So your twin wasn't doing something to hurt you. They were revealing something for you. They were showing you where you were already hurt, where you were already wounded, traumatized, where you needed to heal yourself, where you needed to love yourself. Many of you are making your twins out to be the bad guy or girl. When the truth is, that they are lovingly pointing out what you need to heal. Why is it done like this? Because without some serious motivation to look at and confront those core wounds that you and your twin flame share together, almost no one would explore them on their own without that extra kick in the ass. Without love being pushing them into that direction. 
because no one really wants to go to those bad feeling places. They'd rather feel really good, right? Makes total sense. They'd rather stay in a place where they at least were ignoring the bad feelings so that they didn't feel so bad. They don't even want to look in that direction. So by not confronting your feelings, you're most likely choosing to ignore the things that are keeping you in separation. I mean, but it wouldn't necessarily have to play out like it like it is. If from the very beginning you knew how to do this and you allowed yourself to consciously confront your issues uh, to heal and work through them without having to be triggered into experiencing, um, you know, feeling bad. But since that that's not the case, since this is a learning experience and we are all very clearly learning our way through this journey, no matter where you are on it. There are absolutely no exceptions to learning through this. This is where you are. And your twin flame is right where you're at also. You're one, you're not separate. And your twin flame isn't going to just like sit there and allow you to ignore your problems. So they will trigger you because that's what twin flames do. That's how they were created. If you think you got a broken one, trust me, you don't. Well then why are they doing this? Because they don't wanna be in separation either. It sucks. It doesn't just suck for you sucks for everyone involved but you must heal separation in order to physically be able to come together so they will lead you to your upsets you're constantly working as a team through this journey you know if right now you're believing that uh, they're off doing their own thing completely without you then you're believing that in some way you're separate from them and that belief that you're separate from them is why you're in separation that's what separation is a whole lot of many fragmented beliefs that you are separate different unconnected disconnected from this person I'm not saying overall you believe you're separate maybe you do Maybe some of you don't. I'm saying that in many, many deep corners of your being, of your consciousness, you hold these beliefs of separation. And it is to these places you must go. The core beliefs of separation need to be rooted out one at a time in order to come into union. It's that simple. It's not this enormous grand action that you must take on the outside to prove your twin, to, to prove that you are twin flames, or to get them, or to win them over. No. This is an inner journey. The enormous grand action is on the inside. And it's love yourself in the place where you're wounded and upset, in the place that they're showing you right now love yourself in the place that hurts when you see your twin doing a b or c or d or e or f or g you get the point so do you want to move forward on this journey allow me to help you by receiving advice and guidance from the divine masculine point of view so go to asoneguidance.com or click on the links below and reach out to me, and I'll see you next time.